Hey, this is Curtis where we whack along here. Hey, today is Monday, and this here is, is one of these jobs where they waited to the last minute, and now they want me to come and attend to the lawn. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to get it all, uh, well, get it taken care of for the customer there as soon as I get my equipment off the truck here. Uh, I just got to get these ramps off and uh, once I get the ramp set up then I can get my right mower off of the truck and get it in the lawn and start mowing some grass. That's what we do here. We mow grass guys. Now y'all know I say I'm retired but I'm still trying to wind this out and I don't know. It just helps some customers. I don't know what it is. They wait till the last minute, and then they, and you know, they'll call me because I guess they know I'll help them out. But uh, not that I'm wanting to be out here helping them out, but I just, I just go on and do it. You know, I really just go on and help them out. I was like, oh man, what the heck? Might as well. I ain't doing nothing no way. So why not just go on and help this customer out here? And that's what I'm doing. I'm just helping them out. I mean, like I said, I could have been at home <laughs> sitting at my computer looking at YouTube videos. But I'm not doing that. I'm up here uh, helping a customer out. So, you know, I'm finna do some work. And that's going to take some time, guys. So it takes work uh, to get some accomplished. As, as you can see, it takes you some work to do this. And so that's what I'm doing, you know. Uh, I'm going to get this more off of here and definitely get in here and work for the customer. I'm going to get this customer's property all cleaned up for them and all. I'm going to get it all mowed up, edges up, and everything looking good for the customer. And that's what I do. That's what I do, you know. Uh, just just keep helping customers, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm not trying to... Uh, Build no business or anything. I'm just looking customers. I'm trying to retire from the business. You know, because it's, it's a lot of work out there, guys. And I, like I say, people keep calling me. And, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, they, uh, well, I guess they feel, well, you know, they feel comfortable with me uh, coming in on the, the property and all. I'm going to get in there, you know, and make sure I do a good job and do it in a safe safely manner, get them all taken care of get everything all looking good for them and all and make sure you know they appreciate that and all and you know a lot of times like I say people don't want they don't want to change and I don't understand change when they get used to you it's hard to let go, but uh, hey, this is some hard work. It ain't hard for me to let it go, cause <laughs> hey, it's hot out here. It's gonna get hotter. And I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to hang in here for a, a little while until I get everything else taken care of that I need to get taken care of. And once I get there, guys, I'm getting back on the road. I, I, I wanna uh. <laughs> I want to be on a road. I want to be traveling. I want to be having fun, you know, going places, seeing things, not just running around in the lawns. I'm doing this. I mean, it, I, you know, it's easy for me because I've done it for so long. It doesn't hurt me or anything, you know. And I mean, I can do this lawn in a matter of a few seconds. There, you know, it's just gonna take a little time on this one. Cause what it is is, you know. They let them get out of shape. They wait till the last minute to uh, get in contact with me. They don't want to have it on a, um, a schedule where, you know, you do it on a weekly or bi-weekly. Because they may feel like, hey, oh, it don't, it's not really growing. It doesn't need anything. Oh, no, no. So what they do is they're trying to get cut like once a month. You know, that's what they feel, once a month cut they don't want to get it cut you know weekly I don't want to get it cut bi-weekly they'll let it get so bad till they almost know the homeless station gonna send them a letter and then they want me to come over there and work wonders for them you know 
you wait in and you want me to come over there and work the wonders and try to get you yard of the month after you let it grow up. Now you want me to get you yard of the month. <laughs> and it's hard to do. I have done it, but it, you know, I have done it. I have done that. Got some customers yard of the month, and uh, and I work though. I work to get them yard of the month. As soon as you get them yard of the month, you know, more than likely they're gonna let you go anyway because you got them yard of the month. You're drawing too much attention, you're making it look too good for them. And him want no yard of the month. You know, they be like, what? What? Why? What I get? What? What? What's going on? Oh man, he made it look too good. I don't want no yard of the month. I want them putting a sign out there in my yard, talking about yard of the month, look good. Oh no, I don't want that. It's drawing too much attention. But it doesn't have happened to me though, with a number of customers. I remember one year, I was mowing so many yards, I had about eight yards that I got yard of the month. I was getting these customers yard of the month. I mean, ooh, I worked. Cleaning flower beds, trimming hedges, oh man, raking, you know, just uh, doing a lot of detail mowing, edging, and trimming, and suggesting that you know you should do this and put this here and put that there and put the flower pot over here and put it over here and put it next to the uh, sidewalk over here. Need to edge this, bring in some old mulch over here. Need to have some of these kind of flowers right here, you know. Oh God, that was some of the stuff that I was doing, you know, and helping customers all man, to uh, make their property look good, make it stand out. Some of them be happy, and some of them, you know, oh man, you know, they they like, oh no, no, I don't want to. Uh. Well, they don't want to spend much money on their property, but some of them will spend the money. You know, they'll buy all the flowers and the bushes and everything, and. Uh, have you to come out and install it and get all that, you know, looking good for them. And uh, I was like, wow, this is a lot of work in doing this. It's hot out here. But I go in and I do it. I get them all taken care of, you know, pay them. Well, you know, they can pay me, rather, what I'm going to say, pay me. <laughs> but I'm paying my time for being there cost me a lot of time to come out there and do it. And I used to get a lot of uh, uh, real estate agents and they're trying to sell homes and stuff and they would call me out and well, when I say call me out there I look at it and I tell them all what they need to do and all. they'd be like okay and I said well this is going to take a week to do this you know you got to go in there and get all the bushes out, trim all that, clean all that out, then put some mulch, shrubbery, I'm gonna at least some properties in Jungle State. And they would call me to come and clean it up. Actually, I got some videos out there from way back, I remember, of some properties that I was taking care of and getting ready uh, for some real estate companies. I used to get a lot of them, and I do a lot of cleanups. Some of them, they pay pretty good, you know, but uh, some of them, they want very minimum. I want you to make it look good till they can get it, you know, sold. Once they get it sold, that's it. You know, that's a big thing. I mean, if you get the beautification, you get that property looking good, get a sale, or if you want to make it look good to uh, rent it out, it'll do it. I mean, if the inside is all good, painted up, everything, kitchen cabinet, bathroom all that's looking good in the house the only thing left is that outside if you can get that outside looking good like you want you want to sell the house or you're going to rent the house and more the odds are it will rent i mean it basically you know you want to get some good renters i mean real good renters and sometimes that can take some time you know, to uh find some uh, good renters Oof, I went to some places and cleaned them up and some of them was, uh, hey, uh, can you go to my property and the renters done uh, moved out on me and 
and uh, they done left my place in a wreck. Are you kidding me? No, man, you gotta go over there and check it out. You will see what I'm talking about when you get over there. Yeah, they did leave it in a wreck there. How much you charge me to haul all of that stuff off? All of this stuff? Yeah, man, they got all they left all this junk in the house. I gotta get that to the dump. I gotta clean it out. I hope you got a good deposit on there because I need that deposit to clean all this mess up. No, man, no, no, no. Can't you do it for this? Can't you do it for No, man, I can do it, do it without it. I don't want to do all of that. That's a lot of work, man. I got to put all that on my trailer and then go to the dump and pay a dumping fee and all of that. It's going to be that much? Yeah, man. It's going to be a lot of money to do that because let me tell you. Wait till I go to the dump and I go over there over that skill and they weigh this stuff. That could be another three or four hundred dollars depending on the weight load. I'm pulling all of that. And I got, uh, man, I'm gonna burn a gas working my truck, the trailer, hauling all the weight. Man, no, I got a charge for that. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. no. I mean, if you want to do it cheaper, I'll tell you what, you, I'll tell you how to do it cheaper. You get you a truck. You get you a trailer, go rent the truck, or rent the trailer, and get out there and do it yourself, and take it to the dock, and get it off, and then, you, you know, you, you add it up, you'll see. Oh, I don't have time for that, and you think I got time? <laughs> I ain't got time. I got time to work and make some money. I ain't finna jack around all day, schedule all day, and I ain't finna, uh, Negotiate with you on some prices all day. I gave you a price and that's what it is. You take it or leave it because it don't matter to me. I'm gonna uh, go on about my business. I'm working anyway. I gotta schedule this. And if you're not willing to pay nothing then, like I say, do it yourself. Because you know, if money is a problem, it's gonna take some money to do this. It sounds like money is a problem, so, you know, I. Do it yourself or find somebody else that don't know any better. And let them do it. There's a lot of people that don't know any better, so let them do it. Let them do it. Find them. Call around. Find them. I'm not doing it. Oh, man, come on. What? No. I gave you a price. You don't want it. You know, I said, the way I work is, hey, once I pull in there, I didn't even give you the bill slip for the dumping fee. You got a price for how much they're charging over there for the dump. You need to go talk to them. Don't talk to me about that price. That's what they charge. You know, they got a minimum charge over there uh, at the dump. You know, they're, they're charging like over $100. And I mean, that's just with a minimum load. So once it's loaded over capacity, whatever it is on that scale, they're going to charge more. And you got to pay for that. I know it's the kind of things I run into, guys, but anyway, you know, hey, it's all behind me because I'm not dealing with that this year. I'm supposed to be retired, so, <laughs> so I'm doing very minimal right here. Like I say, I'm just helping this year customer out right here uh, with uh, getting their lawn attended to, getting it all loaded up here today. So, what I wanted to do to make some time up on this lawn right here was I came in and I mowed it first. I got it all mowed down first and then I'm going to come back and trim it up and everything and then once I get it all trimmed up real good and everything get it to look the way that I want it to look then I will take and uh, go back over it one more time just on the back just to mulch any you know mow any grass that's laying over from the trimming there. now with this mower here it's you know it's quick it's fast and everything so it ain't going to take me long to do that just to go back over Sometimes one morning, you know, grass will, will pop back up on you and make it look like uh, you missed a spot. And so I like to do a thorough morning, a thorough check of everything that I'm doing to make sure that that doesn't happen to me. So that's why I, come, I will uh, come back with the mower once I get it all trimmed up. See, all that other stuff around the fence and around the foundation of the home, I... Uh, I don't like to get the more too close to the fence. I don't like to get it too close to the house. I should just stay kind of away from it. So then, you know, you don't want any accidents or anything. So we basically keep that more away from the home. You know, I'm terrible. You know, I'm not near the house. So we keep it away from that. 
always you know, had a little block route to it. So that's, you know, everything that you can uh, put on your mower for protection and more safety, you do it. And that's what I do. So this right here, uh, like I said, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get a trimmer. I'm going to trim all of that up, get all of that all cleaned up and everything up for the customer. Um, and make it look good. Then I'll blow it all off and everything. And, um, hey, hopefully we'll have a happy customer. We're well, going to be happy because all taken care of. It's gonna look better than what it was looking. When I showed up. When it showed up, it was like, oh, it needed some attention. It needed mowing. And so that's what we're doing right here, mowing. Getting it all mowed up for them. Getting it looking good. And they'll be appreciated for that. You know, until again, they'll let it get ready in that state again. You know, they, you know, so <laughs> get a lot of them like so now it's starting to get hot. So you're going to get a lot of customers and start calling and looking for somebody to attend to the one because it's getting hot and when it gets hot and it starts raining, the grass really starts growing. See where this grass is looking? It's, it's real dry. They haven't put any water or fertilizer on it. So they are like, ah, nah, I don't want to spend money. Nah. I wish the guy didn't have to come over here. I wish I didn't have to get him to come and mow with me. I wish the grass probably would just stop growing. You know, I have more money if that grass stop growing. But I live in this subdivision. I know they're going to get on my case if I don't mow this. So I better get somebody over here to mow this and tend to this. Oh, man. I'll be glad when winter get here so the grass will stop growing again. Because I don't want to have to, I don't want to mow no yard. And I don't want to have to pay nobody to mow no yard. So, oh, man, I'll be glad. Oh, boy. Yeah, somebody out there mowing and trimming it up. Oh, yeah. I know they're going to make it look good and all, but that's money I can keep. I don't want to spend no money on that. Oh, but I stay in this subdivision. The HOA going to get on my case if I don't get it uh, taken care of. They start sending letters and stuff. Oh, I'm going to find me and stuff. Oh, but oh. That's why I let it grow up like that, so I can wait a long time. I can scratch my money. I can save my money. I ain't trying to make it look good. He gonna make it look good when he mow it. After he's done, got to almost jungle state. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. If we can keep from mowing it, and edging it up and keeping it looking good, oh. The longer we wait, the more we can save. Yeah, we'll get him over here. Dang, I thought I could get it for, wait for two months to get it. Oh, but we can't, we can't get the rain, all this stuff to go on. Gotta get him over here, gotta get him over here. That's kind of where it go for me, guys. That's where your customers be thinking. Be like, oh, man. Oh, man, this looks like work. Looks like work. And that's kind of stuff I, you know, run into. But anyway, guys, that's what I was saying right here. I'm finna, uh get the mower back out here in the lawn. I'm gonna go back over it one more time, make sure that I didn't miss anything in this spot. So I wanna run back over it just to make sure that I have a good clean cut and no spots. And I'm looking over the lawn to make sure like there hasn't been any grass to pop back up on me and make it look like I missed the spot, which I haven't missed anything. But sometimes, for some reason, the grass will lay down on you. You know, from the from your mower, from the, the ties run over, and sometimes the grass will just lay down, and then after a while it'll pop back up. And so, you know, if you do a thorough mowing, then you can kind of alleviate that problem where the grass popping back up on you and leaving you looking like you missed a spot. I don't want to leave this lawn looking like I missed a spot, so I'm looking it over real good, make sure that everything looks good. And so far, you know, it's looking good. I'm eyeballing it. So I'm hoping that uh, I, I'm leaving it, leaving. When I leave from here, I'm leaving in a clean status. You know, it's, it's all mowed up real good. It's all edged up real good. You know, edged uh, driveway, sidewalk, edged around the foundation of the house. Also, uh, edged around the fence and all. You know, 
yeah, you, you can see in the beginning the way it was looking. You see I'm already using trimmer and trimmed everything out of here. That's what I was talking about earlier. So you can see this is the way the backyard has turned out after me mowing and edging and everything and getting everything all mowed out and everything over it again. So if there's any grass was laying over from the trimmer and all, I just run back over it. It don't take that, it don't take that long for me just to run back over that around the fence and all and just to make sure that I have mowed that grass, mulch that little grass up and all. So then once this, I just come back here and blow everything up but hey guys i'm out of here i hope you enjoyed this here video that i'm sharing with you another one of my jobs take care